South African and I'm going to share this video with you I bought little samples to test out of perfumes that I like so I just want to say thank you very much for everyone who subscribed all the comments thank you for everyone who liked and who watched I really appreciate that so I will tell you the notes of all the perfumes and also what I think about them is it good for work or is it too strong for the office is it fresh or is it powdery is it too sweet and on and on but if you are a perfume person you don't mind if a, if a perfume is sweet or if it's this or that so yeah I will just do that in a moment the first perfume I'll start with is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This perfume is powdery and it's floral. It has vanilla and it has some caramel. So it is a very sweet perfume. It also has notes of coffee. Okay, focus. Okay. It also has notes of coffee. So I would say this is more of an evening perfume even though it's it is not too sweet for the office but it, it's a more of a a very deep and a coffee like perfume the second one I want to talk about is Marc Jacobs Decadence it has floral there's amber it's powdery it's earthy and it's woody it is also very dark and it is suitable for the night suitable for daytime also and it's for the office or for work is okay because it's not too sweet this is Marc Jacobs decadence this is C Passione I would like to believe that's how you say it it's a very fruity sweet floral woody and there's some soft rose in here also. The first time I smelled this, I tested this out, I was very shocked because I thought it's going to be a very um, cologne-like fragrance because of the bottle, I guess. I don't know, but it's a very feminine and a fruity and a very sweet fragrance um, perfume, pardon. Yes, I was surprised with this one. I do like it. It's very light and fresh for the office. It can definitely be an everyday scent for you. You can walk around with this and it will not offend anyone. You can smell like this the whole day. It's a very good perfume. It is very powdery and but it's not overpowering. Yes. Si passione. This is Isimiyaki Pure Nectar. Sorry. Isimiyaki Pure Nectar. Now this one is very different from all the other ones that I've tested. It has water notes. And believe me when I say this reminds you of the ocean. It is so fresh. When you open it, that's the first thing that you can pick up are the water notes in here. It's floral. There's rose, it's aquatic, it's fresh, and there's honey, and it's sweet, and very clean, and very fresh. So this is an everyday bright perfume that you can go to work with, and you'll smell fresh the whole day. Why do I keep dropping you? You'll smell fresh the whole day, Isi Miyaki. So it was the first time I tested. He has quite a lot of perfumes in his collection, but I'm glad that this one was the first one that I tested out, because now I know exactly which one to get. Yes, very fresh water note. That note is amazing in here. The next perfume will be Givenchy Le Interdit. I liked this one also. I liked this one. It is, it has white floral, it's woody, there's tuberose, patchouli, vanilla, and it's very sweet. Then there is pear in here. So I really liked the patchouli. I really liked the vanilla. 
anything that has patchouli and it's uh, there's tuberose I really like okay it is the same as La Vie Abel. it has patchouli and it has tuberose if I'm not mistaken and there's vanilla so I kind of associated it with that I really like this one it's for work definitely it's not offensive it's not too sweet but it does the job correctly here we have Bulgari Rose Goldia the bottle for this one is so it's so cute is this one right here it is gorgeous Bulgari Rose Gold Dia has a lot of rose, like it says in the name. It's floral, woody, musky, fresh, and it has powder. So when you say something is powdery, it once it dries down or it's still drying down, you can definitely pick up that there is some powder, no powdery um, notes in here. It has pomegranate, rose, and lemon, so it can be a bit. It's citrusy and it's very sharp. And I said it's fresh and it's zesty. Okay, because of the pomegranate. You know, pomegranate can be a bit bitter. And it's not too sweet, but it's very light also. So, an everyday scent here. An everyday scent for work, for at home, for wherever you're going. You will not choke people with this one. Cartier La Panthère is fresh, woody, white, floral, sweet, earthy, musky. It has a rhubarb dried fruit and musk it's very elegant it's not too sweet um for the day you can definitely go to work with this it's very fresh and yeah i liked this one a lot i wasn't expecting it to smell like this i thought it was going to be also a bit of like a cologne strong unisex type of perfume but it's a lady perfume this one this is Narciso Rodriguez, order perform Rouge or Rogue. Okay. This is powdery, woody, floral, musky, rose, and balsamic. Now, this reminded me of Carolina Herrera. I will insert a picture of Carolina Herrera in here. Because of the vanilla, the tonka bean is so strong in here. I did not think that it's going to be this strong in here. And this powder, so it's, I mean, it's a powdery perfume and this iris. So this is for work. Do not overspray this because people around you will smell it just like Carolina Herrera. But this is a more of like an everyday during the day perfume. But Carolina Herrera is a night out or whatever going out sort of perfume. But this is very good. I like it. Narciso Rodriguez. Another Narciso, which I did not expect to like as much as I do, is the Pure Musk. I thought this was going to be a very bland or very boring fragrance, but it is not. It is the one with the fewest notes here, and I liked it a lot. It has a musk, it's floral, it's powdery, woody, and there's amber, so it's a very powdery and of it has powdery notes and florals. It's clean, fresh, and light. You can wear this every day. I did test it throughout the day, and I was able to smell it the next day without wanting to wash it off from my hand, from my arm, or something like that. Most fragrances, when you spray it, you just get overwhelmed and you want to wash it off, but not with this one. I liked this one. This is Elisa Bella Perfum, the one that I liked a lot. Um, I still do like it. Once I sprayed it on and had it the whole day, it, I could smell honey on it. Because when it dries down, it becomes a bit sticky, but with, and it's a lot of honey. So it's very sweet. It has white floral, it's floral, it's honey, sweet, and it's woody. But this is an everyday scent also. It is an elegant one. It will not offend anyone wearing this. I like it. Elisa La Perfum. Burberry, my Burberry. I like this little vial that it comes in. It's so adorable. Okay. 
I was also shocked with this one. It's a good perfume. It's floral, it's sweet. There's a lot of citrus in here, so definitely fresh. There's rose and it's fruity. Okay, it's for summer and it's good for the workplace. There's a bitter notes like your passion fruit and grapefruit. So you can sense how it came out. It's um, very citrusy and bitter. But it's good because it's not too sweet where you wear it and then it chokes you throughout the day. Instead, it's, it's just fresh. Burberry, my Burberry. One of the most famous well-known here is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. I think this one is second to Marc Jacobs Decadence. This also, like Marc Jacobs Decadence, has coffee, vanilla, it's sweet, and it is white floral. Sorry for that. It's sweet and there's white floral. It's very warm. Okay, so it's good for the winter because this in summer will, I think, will become a bit thick for you to wear. But people don't mind that as long as they smell like coffee or vanilla. There's pear also, which makes it a very thick perfume. And there is some pepper rose or pink pepper. Okay, so this is for more like open areas where it's not a small office because you will smell of coffee the whole day or vanilla and sometimes people kind of don't like smelling food around <laughs> on people i think i don't know but it's not offensive it's good it's not too sweet i also like it this is la via bell by lancome la via bell is the most popular pop popularly worn and most popularly copied or they are dupes or <clears throat> remakes of this yes a lot of women wear this unaware perfumes that they buy which are not from Lancome but those bottles that we buy from shops okay it's very sweet powdery vanilla uh, tonka not tonka bean sorry patchouli praline and pear and there's black currant in here also it's very powdery i think i said that already is a very elegant a womanly or ladylike perfume anyone can buy this out of all of here i think out of all of the perfumes here i think this is the one that i will definitely say to you, you can go and blind buy you don't even need to smell this First, you can go and blind buy and you will like it. It's that famous amongst women. I bought bottles of these throughout the year. Not from Lancome, but the ones that we buy on the streets. I wore it to death. And when I saw a review on this specific Lancome La Via Belle, I bought it again. So when I smelt it, I was a bit upset that I have been buying this all along, but I just didn't know it was this. So I bought the original one finally, and this is the one that I like a lot. No need to overspray this. It's very sweet and strong. I don't wear this to work. I wore it once to work, and it's going to give you a lot of compliments, which I find very awkward because... Yeah, it smells very good. La Vie Abel by Lancome. The very last one is Versace Dylan Blue. This one is fruity, floral, green, rose, and fresh. It's very green. You can definitely pick up the green apple in here, the pear, and the black currant. So the green apple is the one that makes it very fresh and light and airy. A lot of people say it smells like detergent or soap or some sort of body wash i don't know but i smell juice <laughs> apple juice and yeah but it's a very fresh perfume i really like this one also 
right so i hope this review is a bit helpful for people who want to go and buy some perfume i did end up choosing Narciso pure mask by Narciso Rob rodriguez it has only three notes which i liked about it there's a not there's not a lot going on in here but it's very good all right you have reached the end of the video thank you so much for watching please stay tuned for the next video and see what will be happening in the next video like comment and subscribe bye